7, January 14, 2024. And our subject is the household of God. Mm. The household of God. Household is no more than the church. Yeah. It's the household of God. A household is a family yeah. understood as an organized unit with structured Amen. lines of authority. Amen. And particular function. And we know that this is God's household. Yes, and we make up the household of God. Yes. Why? Because we are a body of baptized yes. believers yes. in Christ Jesus. Yes. Our golden text says in Christ all the builds then fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord. Ephesians 2.21. Amen. We make up the body of Christ. Amen. None of us by ourselves makes up the body of Christ. But it's all uh, but it's letting us know in Christ are all the buildings fitly framed together. Yeah. We are unified. Yeah. God is not divided, yeah. but he is unified. One of us could be the fingernail. One yeah. could be a, a, a toenail. Yeah. You know, none of us makes up all the body of Christ, yeah. but it takes all of us together to make up the body of Christ. Amen. And we ought to be rejoicing yeah, because God has allowed us to make Thank up you, the household of God. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because we are Holy Ghost feet. Yeah. We got the Holy Ghost. The blood of Jesus is really what puts you in the That's household it. of God. That's it. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, when we were strangers and foreigners. When Jesus died on the cross, he unified us. Yeah. All that old stuff was passed away. We praise yeah. God for the blood. Thank Amen. God. Ephesians 2 and 11. Wherefore, remember, think back of something in your past, Thank that ye being in time past, amen, mm -hmm. Gentiles, we were not Jews, when it say Gentiles in the flesh, we were not connected with yeah. God. We were alienated from him. We yeah. were not in fellowship and harmony with God, who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh yeah. by um, made by hand. Amen. The Ephesian church. It was made up of Jews Amen. and Gentiles. Amen. The Jews really, they, they uh, thought a whole lot of being in the family Amen. of the Jews because Jesus came to the Jews. They were his special people. Yeah. But uh, when they called the Gentiles uncircumcised, Amen. Amen. That was to put down. Right. That was not to make them feel good. Right. Right. Amen. But I, as I was studying, Paul let them know, although you might be a Jew, mm -hmm. and you are not lining up with Jesus mm -hmm. and his words and his commandments, mm -hmm. it's no good. It. You know, living right. That what puts us in the kingdom of God, yeah, yeah, in the household. We got to live right, saints. Yeah, if you Lord. don't live right, you are none of his. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, the 12th verse say that at that time ye were without Christ. When we were in the world, we were without Christ. Yeah. We didn't know him. No. We didn't have him. Really, we didn't really know how to get to Christ mm. to get united. Amen. But being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, we were alienated. Yeah. We were not connected. And strangers.
strangers from the covenant of promise. Amen. We didn't have that promise. Amen. When we were worthy, when we were sinners, when we were walking according to the course of this world, we weren't united with God. We didn't know him. We were dead men walking. We didn't even have no hope. It's a having no hope. You ain't have no hope. You weren't looking at nothing but death. When we thought we was having a good time, we were dead men walking. Amen. No hope. Amen. How am I going to get out of this mess? No hope. Amen. And without God in the world, we didn't even have God. Amen. And don't you know, as long as we was in the world doing, being uh, controlled by the devil, that's how the devil won. All right. Now. But don't you know, it takes God to destroy that yoke. Because Satan is not going to just let you go. It's going to take God to destroy that yoke. Amen. God say, whoever come after him, let him deny what? Himself. Amen. And if you come after God, God will uh, come and get you as well. Amen. Verse 13. It says, but now. Amen. But now. I ain't out there no more, y'all. But now. Hallelujah. But now. Hallelujah. God. Amen. But now in Christ Jesus. I'm not El no alien no more. I ain't no stranger and I ain't no foreigner. But I, I'm in the household of God. Amen. In Christ. Amen. Ye who sometimes were far off. Y'all, we was a long way away. We used to sing a song, look where he brought me from. He brought me from a long way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He brought me from a long ways off. Hallelujah. When I couldn't get to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you know God will pick you up and be like a rain down and pick you up and set your feet upon a rock and he will establish your God. We were far off and made not by the blood of Christ. That's how we got close to him, y'all. It's through the blood. It's through the blood of Jesus Christ. When he died, he saw you. He saw me. Say, he looked down from the cross. He saw you, and he saw me. Amen. When I couldn't do nothing for myself, he saw me. When I didn't even love God, he loved me. He didn't just die for me, but he even died for them, hallelujah, that hung him on the cross. Them that spat upon him, he died for them. Amen. And this one, y'all, I, I just, I, I was in my room and I was just doing like Sister K. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just love this. Right, Verse 14. For he is our peace. Yeah. Jesus is our peace. Yeah. When he gave his life That's on it. the cross, we wasn't confused no more. No, no, no. He gave us a deep, settled peace. Yeah. So, so God, have you ever been confused or in I trouble? But Jesus, the Holy Ghost, gave yeah. you that deep, settled peace. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Say, peace in the midst of my storm. Yeah. For he is our peace yeah. who has made both one. Jews and Gentiles, they ain't two no more. Mm -hmm. He made them one through the blood. Yeah. Amen. And has broken down the middle wall of partition. My God, my God. Back then, y'all. The priest had to go back into the holy of holies. And in the court, it's, it was a, a place in the court only the Gentiles could go that far. But the Jews, they could go on up in But when Jesus died on the cross, the veil was rent from the top to the bottom. Why is that so important? Because now we can come boldly yeah, before the yeah, throne of God. Yeah. We don't need that priest no more to be that golden queen. We can walk, hallelujah, hallelujah. We can come to the throne of God and tell God what you want. Tell God what you need. Why? Because the middle wall of petition has been broken down. Now we are 
are unified with God. Oh, amen. God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. amen. 15. Having a bondage. Amen. Oh. Having completely destroyed. Ooh, Lord. Having a bondage in his flesh to oh. enmity. Amen. amen. Because there was some friction going on oh, between the Jews oh, and the Gentiles. Oh, amen. How many know? God can get real confused. Yeah, yeah. God got a way of unifying us. Yeah, Amen. I heard Sister Ragnar say, a divided house can't stand. No, no, no. Saints of God, we aren't fighting against no, flesh and blood, no, no, no. but against principality oh, and, and spiritual wickedness in high place. Yeah. I shouldn't be fighting you. No, no. You shouldn't be fighting me. No. We need to fight the enemy. Amen. The devil is our Jesus. 
Jesus is. We know his name. Amen. We know, hallelujah, we went down in the water in Jesus' name and came up walking in a new life. It said, but now, we keep saying that, don't we? But now, but now, we are fellow citizens. Amen. I've been adopted into this raw thing. I've been kept by the power of God. I'm a raw Don't let what others think of you yeah. determine how you see yourself. Amen. Don't let how others look at you determine how you look Lord, at yourself. Lord. You better hold your head up. Amen. I remember uh, Mother Mitchell say, Mother Curtis, when you come in, your head is raised. <laughs> All right. She said, you better keep it up because if they put it in the dirt, they're going to keep it in the dirt. Okay. Hold yourself up, saints of God. You encourage yourself. If you don't get encouragement from nobody else, encourage yourself. You better know you are somebody. Mother Clancy, why do you say we are somebody because we are in the household of God? We are, uh, uh, we are baptized believers in Christ Jesus. We ain't out no more. We ain't no strangers. We ain't no foreigners. But we are fellow citizens. Hallelujah. We have been adopted into this royal family. I don't care how you got in here. Maybe you wasn't going in, but you was adopted into this royal family. And being in adoption, you got access to everything Jesus got. Thank you, Lord. He says, sin and gold belongs to me. It belongs to you too. Hell's on a thousand years. You ain't got no business going hungry. If your father got it, you got it. Amen. God said, whatever you need, amen, you can ask him. Amen. And I just like it, y'all. We can come boldly before the throne of God. We can ask him what we need. We can tell him all about it. Amen. Why? Because we are in his family. Hallelujah. Pray for me, saints.
nowadays, according to this lesson, they have an access yes, yes. to Christ, just like everybody else. Yes. Just like we are. We, you you got to look at it how it really is. Yes. You know, it, it, it's not just talking about, this lesson is not just talking about just church folk. That's right. Amen. It's talking about Jews and Gentiles. Yes. Once upon a time, but could you hear that? Once upon a time, the Jews think that we are it. When Paul got saved, Paul was sent to the Gentiles. That was his mission. The Gentiles. Those are the people he's supposed to preach to. And when he preached to them, they, they, had, they had some confusion back then. They, they didn't they didn't want the Gentile to receive the same thing that the Israelites were receiving, which was wrong. They had to get all that straightened out. They had to get it straightened out. Likewise today, God has given this to all Gentiles. Then, if it wasn't for, you know, for the Mexicans, Went from those people in Palestine, Palestine, to when, if it's not for them, then who is the father? Mm -hmm. They are considered to be Gentiles. Right. We have to be very careful yeah. how we treat one another, yeah. even people on the street. Now that we are saved and sanctified, all of us should look at things differently. Yeah. That's, that's the way I do. I look at things differently. Yeah. Now, I said, now, uh, because the Israelites had to do the same thing that the Gentiles did. Right. If they weren't saved, they had to accept what happened on the cross. What happened on the cross? Christ shed his blood yeah. for everyone because what? The Gentiles and the Jews were hating one another. Right. That's when what? Hatred was spoken of. Left when, when, whenever we accept Christ, uh -huh. or not to be no more hate yeah. in your heart. Yeah. Not just in the church, but out there too, on your job. Amen. You know, sometimes we pick up the same spirit that our boss and all them here. Because the boss don't like it, we don't like it. You better know who you're not liking, who you don't care. Because they could be God's people. And if God's people, then they're supposed to receive everything. The love that God got, the peace that he has. They even have what? Receive salvation. You, you got to be careful how you treat your sister yeah. and your brother. Who is my sister and my brother? Right. One that do the will of God. Yeah. Doesn't matter what color they are. Hallelujah. Y'all excuse me. I looked back and looked at that sister there. The two sisters on the back. Yeah. If they were in Mexico, in Mexico, <laughs> if they could speak Spanish, <laughs> you wouldn't know who they are. If they can speak Spanish, they, <laughs> no harm, no, no harm done. I, I just want to use y'all. You know, I don't know if it's Sister Nassa and, and Sister York, you know, and me. I look like an Ethiopian. <laughs> Bring your chuck in here. But we're all what? We, we're all supposed to be the same now. Another way of bringing this lesson. We're all supposed to be the same. It doesn't matter what church a person belongs no. to. The love that we have in our hearts for them, we got to know how to fix this thing. Now. If they don't believe what Christ said, then they're still out there as Gentiles. They got to come and accept what happened on the cross? What happened on the cross set every one of us free. Set every race free. And no longer Jews and Gentiles. We are what? One. Y'all kept saying it. Y'all said we're one. What? We're one now in Christ. Yeah. Every one of us. We're one. And that's what make up the house of God. Not just, Lord, Lord, Lord. Not just churches. Yeah. But the house of God. Yeah. Now yeah. consists of every race of person yeah. Yeah. in this world. Every the what? The house of God. Every race of person. Not just black and white. Somebody said, somebody said the Gentiles and, and, and the Jews. Gentiles and the Jews.
blacks and whites in America. It gets more to it than just blacks and whites. Amen. The struggle is what? It's for all of them, and, and every individual in the world has to be accepted now. Yeah, Lord. Christ died. He shed his blood on the cross for every one of us. Mm -hmm. Everybody can be saved. You, if he want to be saved now, all he got to do is come forward oh, to the throne of God. The problem is, you mm -hmm. our officials don't know who has accepted the cross. Who have accepted the blood? Who have truly went all the way? You got to be very careful when you start siding with people. That's right. Yeah. 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 Who, who going against these Mexicans? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, 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 have, I have talked to people who were over foreign mission. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I've been preaching to some Mexicans, you know, and so many of them got saved. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what you're doing, you can do the wrong thing that can cause you to have some problems in the flesh. That's why we as saints of God got to love everybody. Yeah. I don't get around and try to find out who saved, who ain't uh, saved. Uh, my, <laughs> my job is to love everybody. Yes, Treat yeah. everybody right. Be just yes, yeah. in everything that I'm doing. Amen. I got to be just. I got to treat everybody right. Somebody said, that's a problem with you. You want to treat everybody right. <laughs> 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 I know what I'm supposed to do. The love, my love for one person ought to be the same for the next. Doesn't color, doesn't matter what color he is. You know, doesn't matter what kind of church he go to. Me, I got to love him. If I don't love him, then I'm not what God is calling for. And the blood haven't done me any good. I got to accept what Christ did. He died on the cross. There's no difference in the Jew 